Hello everyone, I'm Anna Bogalac, I'm from Montenegro and in the eyes of my community I have failed three times. First time I failed because I did not stay to live in Germany after I have finished my internship in Bonn. I failed to stay in Great Britain after I have finished my master studies in London. And I still haven't moved to live in France, although I have married a French citizen. So that's my third failure. What happened that made me not succeed the way my community would expect me to? Thanks to the amazing program supported by the German Eastern Business Association, I was honored to be among hundreds of brilliant young women and men from the Balkans who got the chance to go to Germany and gain first-hand experience working in a German company. I came as a reporter from the top-rated and most trusted TV station in Montenegro to work at the Deutsche Welle news desk. After working for a few years as a journalist or investigative journalist, if you will, I wanted to learn how to do better stories that would have greater impact and lead to change. And what I understood from my German experience is that good stories of young journalists require time, good and professional guidance and fact-checking. They also require good working conditions, basic ones, that you have your own computer, chair, space, and advanced ones, mutual trust with your supervisors, decent salary, and constant opportunities to learn. In Deutsche Welle, I have worked at the Balkan news desk and all the stories I did were about my country. There, I learned that they are missing good correspondence from Montenegro. And so I realized that I wanted to continue reporting about issues in my country, from my country, that I can be a correspondent Deutsche Welle was missing in Montenegro and continue working at my old job, which I really felt passionate about. Most importantly, in the Balkans, there is always this pressure against journalists for doing their job. They are seen as being too nosy, biased for exposing the corrupt officials, and they are even called traitors as opposed to those who practice uncritical reporting from press conferences. I knew that as a journalist you may be accused of various things by those whose wrongdoings you are trying to expose. But working in a German, in a German company, in a German media outlet, gave me self-confidence as there I have learned clear criteria of professional approach that I did not doubt. I have also learned that I should have much higher expectations from my employer and ask for better working conditions. After those expectations were not met, or at least not entirely, I decided to leave and change my career. Having experience of working in a German company in the EU made it easier to find another job as it made me a much stronger candidate. Working in the field of political communication led me to understanding that I should improve my education in this area. Thanks to the scholarship of the British government, I have obtained my master's degree at the London School of Economics. During my master's studies, I focused my research on the political communication in the Balkans, realizing how greatly under-researched the field of the media communication and specifically political communication in the Balkans is. Again, I returned to Montenegro wishing to do more in the academic field in my country and about my region. Unfortunately, my LSC master's was not needed at my faculty and at the state university where I was earlier awarded as the best student at my undergraduate studies. However, having both Western work experience and Western education made me a successful candidate for an even better job where I'm still working. I got a job where I can constantly learn, where I'm not asked about my political or any other affiliation, where my opinion is valued and my work is paid. I know many of my friends, colleagues and young people in general who were not that lucky. I don't see myself as a martyr who gave up a good life and who came to fight for improvements in my society, nor as anyone who has failed, although I see a huge importance of countering this particular narrative by which going back to the Balkans and not living in the West at any cost is a failure. I did not fail, and occasionally I try explaining that to people around me, especially young ones. I simply returned to Montenegro, where I was born and raised, because I like living here for a number of reasons, including those that I have my friends and family close and that I don't have to commute to get to my office. 
And I was lucky to find a good job here, where my German working experience and my British education are put to use and valued. And I was also lucky to find my French husband here. So we can often laugh together at faces people make when he, as a non-native speaker, tells them in the local language that he actually came from France to work here in Montenegro. Thank you for your attention.